Welcome to a video tutorial of how to use Snapseed to rotate a picture, add text, remove text, and save the picture. First thing you'll do is open up Snapseed. It presents itself and then tap anywhere to open a photo. And then look through your photo album to find what you want to select. This is a picture that is intentionally at an angle. Your toolbox is always in the bottom right hand corner, the circle with the little pencil. So you'll press on that. The two items that we're going to be using today are rotate, which is in the top right, and text, which is near the bottom left. So you'll first press on rotate. And you can see that the picture is automatically rotated and it's also indicated what type of a change it made as well as up here you can see that it's shifted to a minus degree so everything minus is to the left and plus is to the right and it really displays in different ways visually graphically numerically depending on everyone's um, learning habits and preferences, it really speaks to everyone simultaneously what the changes were. So now if you wanted to change it even more, you can single press and hold the picture. What I strongly suggest is that you hold your camera or your smartphone in one hand and then use just one finger from your second hand to place, hold, and then shift up and down you can scroll up and down or once you get towards the point that you really want to fine tune it you just have to rotate your finger what i mean by that you'll see right now i'm pressing and holding and now i'm drawing down or scrolling down now i'm scrolling up and i'm scrolling back up to the top and you can see the straight and angle number changes the blue line positive or negative changes so it was originally at minus 6.40. So you can see getting it back there is very challenging. But 6.54 looks to be about right. And you can see if I move my fingers off too quick that the numbers, because I have kind of stripe the side of it I'm moving so uh, please forgive the sound you're hearing that's my dog barking in his sleep <laughs> so now I'm gonna try this one more time to get back to 6.40 or maybe two more times there we go that's as close as we can get then I'm going to press the checkbox, or the check mark in the bottom right hand corner, and that's going to save the change. Boom, good to go. So now I'm going to open up the toolbox again, and this time we're going to go to text. Now, normally, if I'm adding a photo credit, I'll select line one and I'll bring the credit down to here. And then I'll select the color scheme. I want to make sure that it's not something that's going to be too dark or too light. Um, I don't want it to be too overbearing or underbearing on the picture um, because that can really take away from the picture itself. So I do my best to find a color, excuse me, that is as close to um, the largest color that's presented in the picture. That way, visually, it, it has a good relationship with the picture. Then, I'll press the center button here, which is opacity. Um, if I wanted to change the opacity of the whole picture, I would press the invert button that's right here. But because I just want to focus on the text, I'll go back to the text here. And now, we'll just use the slider. And as I slide left, 
the color begins to evaporate. So I'll find something that presents all of the letters. You can see the first letter D in the word double tends to evaporate first, so or vanish first. So here is about as subtle as I can get. And then once I'm good to go, I click on the, the checkbox in the bottom right hand corner. And then that will save it. Now, to show you a second option for texting, if I wanted to make a more of a, a, a self watermark, I would double tap to change the text. Um, let's just say, oh, I'll put dot 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 it. Strategies. And I've misspelled, so I'll put that there. So this is just a way to put either an email address for contacting or a website URL for directing. Or you could, some people use hashtags and tweet, Twitter handles, things like that. I prefer to keep it as simple as possible to, di to direct everybody into your quote-unquote front door. And then from that point, you can direct them to other options. Um, it bodes well for consistency and marketing and presentation as well. When you're ready, you hit OK. And you can see that this has come in in the direct center. Now, if I wanted to change this, I actually, I'm going to put my thumb by the W and my forefinger by the T at the beginning and the end. And I'm going to hold and press the picture. And now... This allows me incredible flexibility to do anything I want to do. I can put something huge across the whole top, or I can make it small and subtle. I can make a change, whatever you would prefer to do. Um, some people prefer to have things in dead center. Some people prefer to have... a bit more of a presentation on the side. And then, because we are dealing with that one, I can change the opacity of it. So initially it's standing out really strongly. And now it's incredibly, oh, now it's vanished. We'll bring it back a tiny bit, just enough to be able to see what the picture is. And then, to save it again, I'll press the check mark. Once you know that you, everything is exactly what you want, you can save it using this download button. Or if you want to make a change, you can change. You can click on this backward or revert or layering option, which is what we're going to do now. And I'm going to press that. This is going to show all these different options. I can either undo the last one, or I can revert everything back to the very beginning, or I can view all my edits. And so that's the one that we're going to look at right now. So this is showing me the text. Uh, let's see what we're looking at here. This is the original on the bottom and then this is the rotation that I made this is the first set of text that I made this is the second set of text that I made so if I want to change one of those items I just have to press on what the item is and then You can see that the picture goes back to that version because that deleted that text. It does not give you the option to go back in the middle of all your different changes and, and erase only one of them, unfortunately. So at this point, this is, this is 
deleted that second change of text that I added. And if I want, I can either make a copy or I can discard the changes. By discarding the changes, you can see it re-added the texting that I did because I actually want to keep that. So once I'm done, I'm going to press in the top left the arrow to go backwards. And at this point, I want to change everything. Uh, excuse me, I want to save everything. So I'll press the download button here. And then I'll click on the second option, save. It'll prepare it. It'll walk through all of the different changes, one layer at a time, saving each one into the same file. And it's just about done. The more angularity that you change, the longer it takes to save each of the different levels. And then at this point, you can just close that app. And now I'm going to go back to the gallery. And we're looking for Snapseed. These are all my different photos. And you can see this is the photo that we just edited. If you have any questions, please uh, email me, jeff at itstrategies.net. And thanks so much for watching.